Do you ever wonder being born during the pre-colonial era? What social class would you be in? Maybe you're gonna be the next ruler. Or maybe you're gonna be a slave, working hard to earn his freedom. In any case, good thing we're born in this era where the case system is gone. Is slavery in the Philippines really completely gone socially? Or it simply changed its form? Let's find out. During the time when our lands were not yet colonized, Filipinos worked hard for themselves, for their barangays. Having the prizes of their hard work taken home is what kept them alive. Each and every one worked hand in hand for the betterment of their civilization. All the blood and sweat are turned to food for their stomachs. Then the invaders attacked our lands, drifting through the oceans, wavering their flags killing each and everyone who defies their authority, making slaves out of innocent minds of our children, forcing our brethren to work day and night, heat or cold, and rain or shine. Slaves were more common than foods on the table of the Filipinos. It was a nightmare. Even people are wide awake. In 1945, the Japanese left and were on our own. Slavery at this time seems to be gone since we're not under the control of mad colonizers. But is it really gone? Why can we see poor people working for the rich? The rich keeps getting richer while the poor keeps getting poorer. Today, Filipinos believe that we are free from slavery. But if we look deeper, we could see that slavery still exists up to the present. Filipinos fled the country to serve as caregivers enslaved by every nationality all over the world. After hours of work serving people, what they get is little to no salary. Just like in the past, Filipinos work from dawn till dusk and have nothing in exchange. Working for your rich countrymen is one thing, and working for people from other races is a different one. Foreign-owned businesses are rampant today, with almost all of the big businesses being owned by different bloodlines. Working for them can be considered a slavery in its mere essence, but the fact that most of these businesses do abuse Filipino workers and does not consider their rights can be considered one. Some foreign-owned businesses force its worker to work more than what is written in the law. Some doesn't even consider human rights, which in fact, can be considered as slavery without label as of our time. We cannot deny the fact that these issues are present and the local workers cannot do something because they needed those jobs. They have to take it so they can survive. Same issue but different scenario. House helpers or most commonly known as means resembles the Alipins in the caste system as they are working for food, shelter, and things they need to survive. Just like the Alipins who serve the Maharlikas and Datus, housekeepers provide services to a rich person or someone who is capable of paying a helper in exchange of cash. This is one of the factors on why we consider that there is a modern slavery in today's context. The only difference is that housekeeping is considered as a job in our country and there are several rights that a housekeeper is benefiting from. Is slavery really gone or it simply changed its form over the period of time? 